Today's episode is brought to you by Extra. There's something familiar about it all. The pieces are painting quite a picture on the wall. We don't need to know it all to know it's real. We don't need to see the world to know exactly how we feel. All I want is you to know the difference you have made. Please don't change. Please don't. Give extra, get extra with all new Refreshers gum. Previously on Chicken Cross. You're raising the ranks quickly. I'm not trying to step on any toes. I just really love writing. Have you thought about entering the Mr. Attaway competition? Just think about it. You're going to summer camp with her and you didn't even mention it? But Angie thinks it's a really good opportunity for me. Since when did you start taking advice from Angie? Enjoy your gold dinner. It looks like you have a big mess to clean up. I've still been thinking about Flash. He really was just gone. In a flash. Okay, he basically cheated on Kayla with you and you'd still want to be with him? First of all, they are officially broken up, and second of all, I'm not the one writing love letters to TK. How did you know that? I have a mole in the US Postal Service, it's no big deal. My point is, don't judge me. We all have to pick our poison and flash is mine. Gross. What do you think about this? Are you asking if I like it? Because it's a hard no, but if you think it'll make me more relatable, then I'll sacrifice fashion for love. Okay, I'm trying to help you, so how about we don't insult my style? Style, it's generous. I think I'm being a little too generous. How about you have fun with your little make under? No, 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 wait. I need your help. You're my little girl next door. I want to be the girl next door, but in California, next flash. Oh, hey, Quinn. Hey. You know Effie. Love your name. Very chic. Thanks. Anyways, I have to be going. I guess I'll take that smock of yours. I'll work on my best lame impression. I'm still so mad at Ezra. Come on, you need a good distraction. Hammy and I are gonna go watch the boys rehearse for that Mr. Attaway video. I don't fully understand what is Mr. Attaway. It's like a beauty pageant, but for boys. He says it's hilarious though. But Ezra will be there. Ezra Smezra, come on. It'll help keep your mind off of everything. Okay, when you put it that way. Of course Ezra's good at dancing. He's good at everything. So annoying. I'm telling you, the whole thing is rigged. Yeah, Hamilton, I really thought you'd get the nomination. I mean, I've heard from multiple girls around the school about how cute you are. That's what I'm saying! Hot ham! Gotta keep up with Quinn somehow. Okay. Hashtag hot ham. You heard it here first, ladies. Oh, 
sorry. Oh, no, Jax, I'm so sorry. That was totally my fault. I will not let you take credit for my clumsiness. Glad to see you committed my name to memory, though. I mean, who could forget a face like... You know, I'm just trying to be more um, observant. So I'll just keep almost bumping into your own school then? That new kid, Jax, has some pretty amazing moves. He might actually win. Really? Jax Brinkman. Mm -hmm. Kinda sounds like an alien. Yeah, but don't tell Brittany that. Isra! Oh, how beautiful you're coming out now, eh? I've been waiting for you for 10 minutes. Do you think I'm crazy? You think I'm only here for you? No, honey, I have things to do. I have a schedule. I, do you not I care wonder about what he did to get in that much trouble. Yeah, she sounds really you mean. Call taxi because I'm going home. I need to do my nails, Ezra, por Dios. I'll catch up with you later. Okay, then. Is that your stepmom back there? Yeah. Why is she so mad? I made her wait 10 minutes because practice ran late. The way that she was yelling at you, I thought you'd robbed a bank. No, she just has a really bad temper. I'm sorry, didn't realize how bad it was. Don't really like talking about it, but I'm pretty sure she hates me. She doesn't hate you. How could your dad marry someone who hates you? She never shouts at me when he's around. It's like she's two different people. But it's like I'm the only one connecting my dad to his original life. If I didn't exist, then she'd have this perfect baggage-free life that she's always wanted. Hey, a bunch of us are going to Junior's tomorrow night after the Mr. Attaway winner is announced. If you'd want to come. Really? Even if I lose? Win or lose, there'll be a seat waiting for you. Thanks, Ryan. Guys, I know I sound like a conspiracy theorist, but can we all just agree that this competition is rigged? I mean, Hamilton has all the qualities that Mr. Attaway should have. He's kind and smart, and he plays an instrument. Are we really gonna call the ukulele an instrument? <laughs> so, he's going to the woods for eight weeks with a girl who's obsessed with him? Yeah, and he was kind of hiding it from me. That's shady. I know. I'm sorry. Thanks. Guys, it's starting. Hello, Attaway High, and welcome to the live stream of the 47th annual Mr. Attaway Contest. Over the past few days, we've been working tirelessly to showcase your nominees. So sit back, relax, and watch as some of Attaway's finest men fight for the title of Mr. Attaway. Up first, and representing the freshman class, we have Jax. For the sophomore class, we have Ezra. For our junior class, we have Tim. Yeah! And for our senior class, we have uh, Steven here. Apparently, he came down with a case of senioritis. Okay, moving on. Up first is a crowd favorite, the Attaway Dance Off. How did we not know that Tim was actually an okay dancer? <laughs> Moving on to the question round. Up first, we have Jax. Jax, our question for you. What is the thing you're proudest of in your life? I'm really proud of all the houses I've helped build for Habitat for Humanity. You know, I don't even swing that way, but that Jack skid is the whole package. So he builds houses for people in need. Anyone can do that. Do you? No, but I could. And Tim, your question. Um, if high school's taught you anything so far, what is it? Expect the unexpected. See, we all have this vision of what our high school experience is going to be like, but it usually doesn't always pan out that way. So just get ready to roll with the punches. So inspirational. And Ezra. Oh, this is a good one. 
If you could turn back time, what's one thing you do differently? Well, that, that's easy. See, there's this girl, and she's pretty amazing. But I was stupid and insecure, and I doubted her. I guess I was just trying to play it cool, but I ended up being a jerk. So if I could turn back time, I wouldn't have lost my chances with her. How tender. OMG, was that about you? That was definitely about It you. could be about someone else. No, that was definitely about you. Now, if everyone watching could please open their Mr. Attaway app, you guys can all cast your vote. As per Principal Mather's request, there is a writing option, but I think we all know there's a clear winner here. We will be back momentarily to announce this year's Mr. Attaway. Do you think I can vote for more than one person? Because I really don't know who to vote for. I mean, I've known Tim for longer, but Ezra did really well too. He just apologized for being a jerk and called you amazing on TV with the whole school watching. Let's give it up one more time for this year's contestants. This is also a good time to thank our sponsor, Jitterbug. The winner will be taking home 12 cases of Jitterbug. Wasn't, it, Jitterbug. wasn't Jitterbug shut down by the FDA? Okay, time to announce the winner of this year's 2019 Mr. Attaway competition. And the winner is... Hamilton! Wow, okay, well... Hamilton, come find me later to collect your prize. Guys, hot ham. I knew we could do it. I have to go find him. <laughs> Hamilton, huh? I mean, good for him, you know? I hope Tim's doing okay. I, well, he got further than I expected him to. So that girl you were talking about? I don't know what my problem is. School, at home, it, it's been a weird few months for me. But I really like you and it kind of worries me. How about a second chance? Looks like he ended up winning something after all. bothers you, I, I just won't go. It's a good opportunity for you. You should go. You still seem mad, though. Can we just talk about it later? I would like to propose a toast. Here is to new beginnings, fresh starts, making new friends, but not forgetting about the ones who always stuck around. Cheers. 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 Can y'all just date already? Rooney, what? Y'all can't stop smiling at each other. Okay, I'm officially embarrassed. Well, what do you say? Should we give the people what they want? He's back from Texas, y'all! Rooney! Rooney! Quinn! Oh my god, please never disappear again. I won't. Are you back for good? I'm, of course. Otherwise, my home, and this is where all of my friends are. How could I stay up to date on all the drama? <laughs> is it just you, or TK? Well, he stayed in Texas with my dad. But I brought these for you. He told me to give them to you. What are those? Ezra, don't. Uh, 
Uh, are these love letters? No. Well, I mean, I, I don't. Next time on Chicken Girls. Look, I know things have been weird between us since the whole letter thing. Apparently, some freshman girl has just been nominated for the journalism award. Me? I don't know what to say to Drake. Why aren't you answering him? I don't know. I thought it was something to do with Angie, but maybe it's something different. Hey, can we talk for a second? We just wanted the Chicken Girls to hang out before our school lets up. Yeah, rhymes. That's such a crime. Oh, that rhymes. <laughs> Ellie, if you're going to do this all summer, I'm out. Yeah.